Hey there, everybody. Franklin Taggart here, and welcome to the coffee break. Here is my coffee. Grab your beverage, and let's have a chat, shall we? I've been having some technical difficulties today. I'm not sure what's going on, but every now and then, um, my microphone gets some static in it, and I'm not sure why. It's a gremlin. I'm going to probably have to take everything apart and put it all back together again before it's all said and done. But I thought I would get my coffee break done before I tear everything apart. So here's here's what's on my mind today. I had a client this, this afternoon. We had a very interesting conversation. Um, and we, we both share kind of a similar frustration. And that is that, you know, we spend a lot of time creating content. And some of our content we think is really, really good. And nobody hears it or nobody listens or nobody nobody reads it. And we, we have no idea why that is. It's like, you know, it felt really good to create it. And, it you know, when we shared it with uh, some of our friends, they liked it. But when we put it out there in the world, somehow or another, it just doesn't find the right connection or the right circle to close or whatever it is that we're looking for. And as a result, you know, we'll, we'll look at our, our YouTube analytics and it's like one of the videos that I put out there that I thought was just kind of a, you know, a quick and dirty throwaway tutorial ended up having thousands of views. And yet the, the material that I have a feeling, you know, if people actually heard it, it would be very impactful on their life. I'll get three or four views and there's no rhyme or reason could be algorithm, it could be timing, it could be any number of things. But we were both talking a little bit about, you know, one of the things that has to happen if you're a content creator, one of the things that has to happen is that you just have to know that your inspiration is, is coming to you for a reason, and it needs to be acted upon, no matter what the analytics say, right? And so we were just talking a little bit about what are some things that could be done. Well, one of the things that we looked at was, are people searching for what you're putting out? Well, it turned out that in some cases, there weren't very many search searches for those terms. So, you know, you, there's a niche there, but uh, there are not a lot of people that are looking for it, at least using that language. So one of the things that we talked about is, well, are people looking for it using different language? Turns out there were a lot of searches for things that were in an alternative way of saying the same thing that he had put in his title and his description. So the one thing that I had told him, I said, I believe that these ideas are coming to you for a very good reason and that there's somebody out there who needs what's coming through. So trust that that is true and make sure that you don't, you know, that you don't cut it off at the knees just because one post gets 300 views and another one only gets a few. We can't use the analytics to really, to really gauge the real quality of something. We can, it'll, it'll tell us about the popularity of something in the moment. But even then, there's no, you could, you could try exactly the same thing that worked yesterday and you could try it today and you'll get one view instead of 500. It's, it's weird, but that's just the way that the content world works, especially with, you know, algorithms and social media. It's just like. People have to be searching for it. They have to be there at the right time. And hopefully your stuff will show up when it's time. So the second thing that we talked about in that conversation was something that I think, again, this is a, this is a familiar thing that I'm aware of for myself. And that is the, the whole behavior of judging an idea before you really give it a shot. And he did this over and over and over and over in our conversation. And I said, I don't know if you're aware of it, 
But every idea that's come up, whether you've come up with it or whether I've come up with it, you've gone for the negative angle first. You've gone for the reason why you shouldn't do it before you've even entertained. Is there a reason why you should do it? And what was happening was that there were some good ideas that were coming up that could be viable things for his business and for his, you know, his YouTube channel and for the things that he's putting out. And yet he is not allowing those ideas to, to have any daylight. Call me naive, but I believe that every idea comes to us, every inspiration comes to us, because there's a legitimate need for it somewhere in the world. Now, we can't act on every idea that we have. God forbid, if I had, if I had to act on every idea that I had, um, I would never get anything done, because I have thousands of ideas a day. And when real legitimate inspiration comes through, I write it down. I'm going to give that thing place in, a place in my life, right? So like yesterday, I had an idea for a course. And instead of just saying, oh, no, I'll just save that for later. I went ahead and wrote out the course outline in the course software. And I actually, by the time it was all said and done, by the end of the day, I had two course lessons already recorded for that course where I just had the idea yesterday afternoon. Now, it may turn out that this idea is really only legitimately good for maybe one or two people, but who am I to say that that's a problem? Maybe they are the perfect people to get that particular thing, right? So I would encourage you, if you are quick to judge your ideas and to limit yourself from trying things because you don't think that they'll work, give yourself some space around that. Let it at least have some room in your notebook. Come back to it. Is there a way that this can work? Sure. You know, is there something that I can do with this idea that, you know, makes it viable? Is there a way that I can, you know, is there a way that I can bring this to a group of people and say, why don't we work on this together? Is this an idea that I'm having that someone else actually needs to, to carry forth? I don't know. But I really believe that inspiration comes to us in response to something that's necessary in the world and that we at least need to give it a fair shake, right? Now, if you're running into a situation where you're not having inspiring thoughts, that very often suggests to me that you might be in a state of desperation, you might be in a state of grief, um, you might be in a, a state where you actually need inputs rather than output. So for me, a lot of times, if, I, you know, if I'm feeling uninspired, that's when I'll read some fiction or that's when I'll watch a movie or a, a sitcom or something like that. Something that's going to get me out of the striving, um, the striving behavior, the striving direction. If I am in a striving mode, very often my creativity starts to shut down. So those are some thoughts that I'm having in response to that conversation this afternoon. Now, again, these are human behaviors. It's like everything that, that he was doing are things that I've done too. But one of the things that I'm, I'm going to suggest is that when you are a creative person, Every idea deserves at least consideration. It may not come all the way to fruition, but it at least needs to be given full consideration, whatever that looks like for you. Oh my gosh, I think I'm done now for the day. It's been a great day. Had some wonderful client conversations. Uh, a couple of people that are just really rocking uh, in their world right now and that's always fun for me to see. And I really love it when, um, when people see the positive result that they, that they knew that coaching could help with. And they, they let the coaching in and the coaching helps them 
then become and move in the direction that they wanted to move in. Just it's the greatest reward in my life right now. So folks, um, I am grateful for your time and your attention, your two most precious commodities. And I am grateful just uh, to be able to to meander around in my own thoughts and imagination for 10 minutes a day and have people pay attention to that. Have a good whatever it is where you are, and I'll be back tomorrow with another coffee break. So long.